Welcome to The Late Show. Like you, I am sickened at the news that early yesterday a terrorist killed 49 people and wounded 53 more in Orlando in the most deadly shooting in American history. Naturally, we each ask ourselves, what can you possibly say in the face of this horror? But then, sadly, you realize you know what to say, but it's been said too many times before. You have a pretty good idea of what most people are going to say. You know what a president, whoever it is, will probably say. You know what both sides of the political aisle will say. You know what gun manufacturers will say. Even me, with a silly show like this, you have some idea of what I will say. Because even I have talked about this when it has happened before. It's as if there's a national script that we have learned. And I think by accepting the script, we tacitly accept that the script will end the same way every time, with nothing changing, except for the loved ones and the families of the victims for whom nothing will ever be the same. It's easy, it's almost tempting to be paralyzed by such a monstrously hateful act, to despair and say, well, it's the way the world is now. Well, I don't know what to do. But I do know that despair is a victory for hate. Hate wants us to be too weak to change anything. Now, these people in Orlando were apparently targeted because of who they love. And there have been outpourings of love throughout the country and around the world. Love in response to hate. Love does not despair. Love makes us strong. Love gives us the courage to act. Love gives us hope that change is possible. Love allows us to change the script. So love your country. Love your family. Love the families and the victims and the people of Orlando. But let's remember that love is a verb. And to love means to do something.